Hello everyone and welcome back to our FPS RPG series. In this episode we're going to continue working on our shooting by adding the ability to deal damage. So we need to make a test army for us and set up the ability to do damage and then show how to do the damage numbers flying off the dummy's head. Um, so there's be a couple more parts to get to that. So let's get started on dealing damage. So I said I need a dummy. So let's create a dummy character. I'm going to create a new blueprint class. I'm going to choose a character and call it dummy. And let's go in there. Go to the mesh and give it a mannequin. Oh, let's make snaps. Make sure the snaps on. There we go. And I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to animate him. Um, that way we know he's definitely a dummy. So let's close that and drag him out into the world. And there he is. Okay. So the idea is, is that we shoot him and we want to be able to see that he's taking damage. So in this part, we're just going to make it so we can actually do that and calculate a number for that amount of damage we're dealing. So we'll start looking at stats and things like that. Um, so let's go into our player character. Now player characters can have a variety of stats associated to him, uh, such as strength and so forth. Um, but let's go on to our gun itself first of all, because our guns are going to all have different strengths as well. So let's go to the assault rifle here. Uh, not assault rifle, let's go to the parent, sorry. And on the parent here, we've got damage. Now, damage, by default, we've got it set to zero. Obviously, we don't want that. We want this to be a value. So, damage is going to be a range, okay? Now, the range is going to be determined by, um, just by pure luck, by drop chances that you get in a typical RPG. So, what we're going to do in here is set up the base value, the median value, and then we'll work out the range from that. So, by default, let's set this first value here to be 100. Okay. Hit compile. So, a gun has a damage value of 100. Uh, and then we want to go into our uh, yeah, into our gun here and create a function called calculate damage. So to calculate damage from the weapon, we need to take the weapon's damage strength, uh, the range they've been fired at, um, where they hit on the enemy, and so forth, and so forth, and so forth. So there's lots of factors that go into dealing damage. Uh, so let's take, first of all, just the damage value out of here. So I'm going to take damage and choose get. Now, as I said, this is going to be a ranged uh, thing. So I'm going to take this, and we're going to minus a float. And then we're also going to pot plus a float. So we can get our min and max values. Now the amount we want to take away and the amount we want to add is going to vary based on maybe our uh, our gun's rarity or level or whatever it may be. But for now, let's just put in a hard number so we know what we're working with. So I'm putting 0 0.2 there and 0 0.2 there. So the highest it will be because it's 100, will be 120. The lowest it will be, be 80. So now we get damage, and we'll get a random value of that damage. So I'm going to do random float in range. So minimum, we'll go to the top one, and max, we'll go to the bottom one. And that'll get us our base damage from our gun. Okay, next, we want to take the... Uh, any modifiers from the player character. So if the player character's got like um, any armor or special abilities or buffs, things like that, which affect that stat of the amount of damage you're being dealt with, we can get that from the player character. So we're going to go from the first person character here and we're going to go to the variables, create a new variable, and this will be strength. And let's change that to a float. And we're going to click and change the category for this to be stat. For now, we'll leave strength on its own. Uh, sorry, no, we'll change the default value, actually, first of all. Let's change the strength value to, I don't know, 50, okay? And then we're going to add another 
stat value to this we're going to do one called crit chance and this could be the chance you have to get a critical strike so again a float compile that and the crit chance for this can be a value between 0 and 0 point well 0, uh, 0 and 1 but 1 would be crazy if you had a 1% 100% uh, crit chance so we'll keep this really small we'll do 0 0.1 and you really don't want to go too high with the crit chance um, otherwise it will be a bit weird for the player to get more crits than not okay and that would be also a stat as well so you can drag a category stat value into it okay so now we've got two values here which will affect the amount of damage the gun does so on the weapon on calculate damage we've got the guns base damage from here so let's comment that out and do guns base damage then we need to modify it based on the players stats so we need to get the player stats from this so we get player character and from there we're going to cast to first person character and as first person character I'm going to drag out and get the strength and whilst we're here we also get the crit chance okay so the strength is going to be a flat value uh, which will increase as the player levels up and so forth so let's say it's 50 which we set it as default here and we're going to multiply that by our value in our range here so we're going to multiply that by this and then I'm also going to multiply that by 0 0.5 okay this will just stop the numbers from inflating too much too quickly and again you, this is how you, you can do any kind of algorithm you like to get your damage numbers uh, ultimately it doesn't really matter too much because you tweak it later on anyway so crit chance so how does this work well crit chance we're going to do a random ball with weight the weight for this is going to be that crit chance and what that means is um, if this is going to be 0 0.1 that means this has a 10% chance of being true okay and we're going to use that boolean to do a select float and here if it's true it'll pick A if it's false it'll pick B okay pretty simple so if it's A and it's true we want to take the base damage here and multiply that by 2.3 uh, again your own algorithm you can do whatever you like for this that'd be into A and then B will be our base value without any multiplication and that'll be if it's a crit chance now we want a return value of this so we're going to do a return node and we need two things we need to take this return value here and drag that to return node and that's going to be damage and then we're going to take the return value of the ball here and that be is critical which we'll need to do to, to communicate to the UI um, that we've hit a critical strike and do different sound effects different different uh, particle effects and so forth how do you want to do it so we need to plug that one in to our cast there so now we've got a calculate damage function it compile and then save go into your event graph and what we're going to do is do a on the line trace for our bullet by bullet we've got the update ammo counter but we also want to do something if we are hitting something okay dealing damage now quite simply all we're going to do is just send damage to it regardless of whether or not it can actually take damage uh, we'll let whatever it's being hit decide what it wants to do with it so from out here we're going to split that by right click on it get that out hit it at help sorry out hit hit actor there we go and do apply damage now the damage we want to apply to this we're going to drag up like so and the base damage is going to come from that calculate damage function so drag that out 
and then plug that in like so and if we want we could do it as a sequence if you want to keep it nice and separate and easy to work so that'd be sequence one do the ammo stuff sequence two or the sequence sorry then zero does the ammo then one does the damaging and uh, so pug damage value from your function into base damage and damage type class now is where we're going to use our is critical so here if we click on drop down you see there's nothing much really here we need to make our own damage type for saying it's a critical hit so let's do that so i'm going to go and for now just put it in here and we go to blueprint class and go to all classes and in search do damage type Hit select and we're going to call this one uh, dmg underscore critical and this is useful for what if you're doing things like poisonous shots ice shots things like that things that are going to do different things to the player character on the other side so don't need to do anything to this we can just open it up if you want but that's kind of it doesn't really do much uh, we'll leave that as is and on the damage type class we're going to do a check for this boolean here so then we can take the is critical do a branch for this and do apply damage to the true select class damage critical and then duplicate apply damage put it onto the false make sure you plug damage back into it there and damage actor into the hit actor and but this time damage type class will be set to none hit compile so now something's going to receive damage hit save and then close that so to test that i'm just going to go to my dummy go to open full blueprint editor right click type in damage and you'll see the event for event any damage choose that and in here we can do a print string and we can just type in the damage value like so um, but I also want to check if I've got damage type working as well so let's actually break that out so damage type we will do um, is equals to do damage critical so just doing this temporarily this will be different later on when we add stuff to this if it's true do this it's false we are going to uh, do that but uh, let's change the color of it to be pink okay so now let's test this out so this event will just trigger whenever it receives damage okay and so let's test that out Hit play Ah, so the project the hit scan is going right through him and the reason why is our collisions are not set up correctly so currently our gun where is it our guns line trace is going through the visibility channel and we need to tell this dummy to block the visibility channel so go to the mesh scroll down to collision and you'll see collision presets expand open and you'll see visibility set to ignore by default change that by changing character mesh there to custom and change visibility to block hit compile then save now okay so that damage class doesn't seem to be going through for some reason Okay, let's have a look at what's causing that. So on the dummy, rather than comparing it to another object, we want to compare it to a class. So damage type, get out here, get class. And we're going to do equals equals. And then choose that damage class. So now hit compile and save. Normal hits will be in pink, critical hits will be in blue. 
So you can see that the blue one there is much higher value than the rest of it. Maybe two I. We can put that down, I guess. So if we wanted to change that, we just go into the calculate damage function here and just change our value here. We could comment this out and go crit um, modify. And let's change that to 1.5. It's all just balancing so you get the values that you kind of like. So there's for 3700 3, there. Yeah, I think that's decent. Okay. So our dummy is now taking damage and reporting damage numbers. In the next part, we'll do actual damage numbers flying off of the dummy and indicating when they are critical hits. If you want to watch that next part, head over to patreon.com forward slash Ryan Daily, where you can donate just $1 and get access to that part, plus many, many other videos. Thank you to all my patrons and YouTube members for their continued support. It wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you so much. If you're watching this and haven't yet subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future content, please leave a comment below. I'll be interested to see what you guys have to say. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.